Hello, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, let's take a look at how to install VirtualBox on a Mac operating system and install Ubuntu server in the virtual machine. Alright, let's begin. I'm here on the VirtualBox website. Go to Downloads. Download the package for macOS. Here you go. The downloads take a bit time. Okay, the download is ready. Double click on it. Double click on the icon of virtualbox.pkj file. Yeah, when you click when you install application on Mac OS it takes you through the standard installation process and part of it it may ask you the password if you have any all right the installation is ready so let's now open the application Click on virtual box. There you go, the application is installed and ready to use. Okay, now let's install Ubuntu operating system. So click on new. Yeah, here you have two modes guided and the export mode. So I selected as export mode and provided all the required details for the machine. have ISO file here select the ISO file for your operating system the virtual machine detects it automatically leave this section as it is go to hardware tab now here provide the RAM required for your virtual machine so I'm selecting 1024 which is 1 GB uh, which is at least a minimum requirement to run this operating system All right, so the disk space I'm giving 25, I'm keeping it as, as it is. Let's move forward. All right, so the initial creation is done. Now virtual machine will begin the installation process to install Ubuntu server here. All right, let's maximize the screen and watch out. Alright, select your language, continue. Alright, here select Ubuntu server and uh, to navigate between the options, try using tab key from your keyboard. If you have any proxy address, please do enter else leave it blank provide your machine details here one thing to note when you're providing password please do remember the password or note it down as uh, the same password is you're going to use uh, to log in into the server once it is ready so if you lost the password then yeah it is it is highly impossible to uh, get into the operating system so you might require to reinstall the OS Select the OpenSSH if required. In my case, I'm not installing it for a reason.
okay just uh, leave it default and just click on done here you go the installation process has started so it might take uh, 15 to 20 minutes so here I'm fast forwarding the video to save our time okay in case if you want to stop the updates and proceed for next step you can just click on uh, cancel updates and reboot so here the next page is reboot So your machine is rebooting it means uh, the installation has completed successfully so let's wait for the machine to come up online Alright, your machine is ready now. So let's log it into the operating system. So my user was Ubuntu dash user and I'm using the same password which I entered while installing. Alright, I'm, I'm logged into, into the machine. So let's check uh, my user. Just my screen size. All right, so let's use who dash capital H to see the current logged in user. So here you can see that Ubuntu dash user is the current user who logged into the server. Okay, now so let's do some basic checks okay so let's see the version of your operating system so there are a couple of commands which can provide you all the details like uh, lsp release dash a the next one is and there is one more Okay, now uh, these three commands actually showed you uh, uh, the version number plus uh, other details as well. So if you just want to see the version number only, then you should use cat space etc issue cat slash etc slash issue. So it just provide you the version number in a single line all right so now let's jump on to checking the file system so let's use df command to check your uh, disk file system of your machine Okay, so here you see the information, uh, it is not in the human readable format, yeah? So let's add dash h in the end of the df command to make it human readable. Okay, if you want to see the disk type, uh, use dash t. Here you, here you can see the type of the disk and uh, the size of each partition. Okay, now let's check the uh, adapt network adapter details. Let's see how many network cards are installed and uh, which one is active and which what is the IP address of the of the each adapter. Okay, 
here you can see that there are two adapters and uh, yeah with the details of the IP address and the MAC address okay one thing to note here if config uh, by default uh, this command won't work unless you install the dependencies called uh, net dash tools all right so now let's check the ram size uh, by using command free space dash h all right so we have done the basic checks with this, we have successfully completed the installation of Ubuntu server on a virtual machine. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you.